everybody and welcome to the 7th episode of Ali Hacks, presented to you by School of IT and Power by Angel Robotics. Well, in this episode we are going to create an IT-based automated planning system. And why do we need to do that? Well, uh, let's say you have outdoor lights, right? But uh, it does only need to stay on during the night and it, it is turned off during the day. So. Uh, sometimes we forget to turn it on or off and sometimes we are just like lazy to do that. To solve that problem, we can just create a program, like an easy program to just uh, do it by school or by the board. So, to do that, we are going to uh, use the components that we are already familiar with. If there is no new component or anything like that. So, it's going to be pretty easy. Uh, let's get on with the video. Well, uh, let's view the circuits first and here you can see that we have a breadboard, we have some uh, wires, we have an LED and we have an LDR because we need to sense when it's uh, day uh, when it's day and when it's night. So uh, then we have this resistor. Well I've already told the purpose of using a resistor in the previous video. Uh, it's because we need to uh, like control the current, you know we don't want to burn these things. Up. So it's a uh, uh, 10, uh, 10, 10, 10 ohm resistor. Then we have another resistor. It's the uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor. It's for the LDR. So let's assemble the circuit then. And in the previous video, we have already uh, talked about LDRs. And if you don't remember, let me tell you again. LDRs are light dependent resistors. Uh, it's dependent on light. So it's just another resistor, but it's dependent. Right. So it's connected. We need to connect one uh, with the power of a common power and then we will connect another. Well now we have connected our 10 kilo ohm resistor and just to let you know resistors don't have any polarities so yeah you can just connect it in the other side. Now we are going to take our LED and now we are going to see the anode cathode. So alright we have our anode cathode here. So now we will connect it with the common ground. Alright, we have done that. So after we have done that, now let's connect it with uh, the resistor. So we are going to take one more resistor. And then one more resistor and then connect it here. Uh, it does not look that way, but yeah, it's not the right. So now we have uh, then packing everything to the breadboard. Now let's move on with the jumper wires. So according to tradition, we're going to connect GMB with a black wire, and we're going to connect the positive with the red wire. The red and the black. Now it's done. Let's connect the uh, LDR and the LEDs. So we have the LED here. Alright. Now then we're going to connect the LDR. Okay, so we have our LDR connected. Now we're going to connect the LED with the board. Now we're going to connect it with the we're going to connect it with the relay. So let's uh, connect our common first. So the another jumper wire. So let's see the code, but where is our uh, LED going to go? Which relay? So it's 26. Now let's see the relay 26. Where is it? So it's this one. Now we're going to just unscrew it. Alright. Now we're going to take our common wire. Alright, now we have connected our common wire. That's uh, five volts. And we have done it. Now let's turn the LED. Well, we are just going to go with the panel pin. And now we are going to Alright, our LED setup is complete. It's done. Now we are going to connect the LED here. So let's Connect the LDR with 
power I open. Let's see which one is it. It's the well, that's answer. It's 39. So what's my idea? 39. Okay, we are uh, we have used a milk in male, but we're going to need a milk in female one. So let's take that. Sorry about that, but here yeah, we'll really we use the milk. Similar. And now we're going to have been 39. Alright, so let's get this out of the way and we have it, we have the uh, connection done, now we're going to connect it to the power button. So let's give it a black bolt. Alright, uh, we're going to give the LED actually not 5 volts, we're going to give it 3.3 volts. So let's give it 3.3 volts and now I'm going to be ground. So our circuit is complete. Now we're going to just upload the code. Alright, we've completed our code. Now let's upload our code. Um, it's loading. Alright, now we're going to as usual, set up our dashboard. So let's start it. Now we're going to add some equipment. Let's name it Light. Okay, uh, we're just going to name it LEDs. So let's name it LEDs. Description of school of IoT. So school of IoT. Project 7. Now we're going to Select an icon, well, let's select this icon and we're going to add three actions. So let's name these actions as usual. It's auto mode and manual mode. I don't know how many times we're doing this auto mode and manual mode in the series, but it's kind of fun. Mm. We're going to name it manual mode. All right, now we're going to select our action tab. So it's all boolean. Default value is zero, obviously. And our trigger, which is light. Now we're going to save it and now we're going to just register it so let's register we're going to go in the dashboard and now we're just going to add some switches so we're going to add three switches and the field value and we're going to name all of them just like we did previously
Now we're going to add our Alright, now we're going to add our LEDs, so let's select this and we got OK Submit and our trigger is going to name it or we're going to name it Light. Oh, GHT light. All right. So our dashboard setup is complete, and we're going to just test it out. All right. Our software setup is done, and we have done everything regarding this project. So yeah, let's uh, test it now. Uh, as you can see, we are going to connect it with. Uh, we're going to switch to auto mode. All right. Uh, I'm using my PC because, anyways. So. Uh, Automate is turned on. Now we're going to just see if this works. So uh, we're going to cover our LDR because there is just like too much light in this room. So we're just going to cover it and see if it turns on. All right, our LED turned on. So it's pretty much it. It has turned on, and that's how you have it. Your light based. Uh, uh, what is it called LED control using RT using the power of the internet so it's all for this project and I don't think that it's that much complicated it was pretty easy you just need to add an LDR and an LED and to just uh, set some few stuff in here and then you're just going to turn off your light and it's going to go uh, boom yeah it's done so see you in the next episode until then uh, stay safe bye